Welcome back my brother and sister. In previous video we have learned a little bit some basic concepts of the triangles. Now after learning those concepts, now we are ready to classify the triangles. We, are, we can easily now learn how many types of the triangle there are, right? And how to classify the triangles. These all we'll be discussing in this video, okay? So let's classify the triangles. You know my dear brother and sister, we can classify the triangle on the two bases. The first basis is uh, side. How is the side of the triangles? right based on that we can classify the triangles and another basis is how is the angle of the triangle or you can say how is the corner of the triangle so based on the corner or based on the you can say angle based on the vertex we can classify the triangle as well as uh, based on the sides or the edges right how is the sides of the triangle how is the line segment which has made the triangle depending on that we can classify the triangle so there are two major bases to classify the triangle one is sides and another is angle so let's classify now one by one okay so based on the side based on the side how uh, the triangle have we can classify the triangle into the major three categories first one is e q u i l a t e r a l equilateral triangle first category is equilateral triangle and the second category is isosceles triangle isosceles triangle and the third category or the third type of the triangle based on the side is scale and triangle scale and triangle okay so equilateral triangle that's our first type right and uh, isosceles triangle that's our second type and the scalene triangle that's our third type so let's learn one by one let, let me talk first about how is equilateral triangle okay so uh, my brother and dear sisters let's see here equi means what do you understand i think you know this also equi means equal right equi means equal and lateral means the sides lateral means the sides so such a triangle which has the equal sides are called equilateral triangle all right let me show you in the figure that will make you more clear picture about the equilateral triangle suppose i have a triangle something like this okay here uh, let me assume right let me assume that this this side let me give the name also a B. This is line segment AB and the line segment AC and line segment BC. Let me suppose here side AB, the length of the this side AB is two centimeter. Okay, and the length of the side uh, this AC is again two centimeter and a length of this BC side is also two centimeter. So here all the sides, AB sides, right? Side AB and side AC and the side BC all have the equal measurement that's two centimeter two centimeter and two centimeter so such a triangle which has all the sides equal right all the sides equal is known as equilateral triangle okay so let me draw one more figure that will give you more idea and uh, let me inform you one thing uh, whenever we represent the equilateral triangle then simply we we cut like this we give a single cut here here like this it means that all the sides are equal if I'm giving a double cut also then it means the same thing that the all side this side this side and this side all the sides are equal right if I'm giving this cut or somewhere you may see some kinds of symbol also any kinds of symbol you can give like somewhere you may see this kinds of symbol also depending on the books if you see many books there will be different different kinds of symbol any kinds of symbol you can represent to all the sides it simply means that the side AB, AC and the BC all are equal, right? Any kinds of symbol you can give, I told you. You can give here like uh, if I'm drawing one more triangle that will give you even more idea about this. Here in this uh, triangle, suppose let me give the name PQR. So here in this triangle PQR, uh, if I'm giving something like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So here here if I'm giving such symbols cutting three cuts I give here one two three right so it means all the sides sides PQ is equal in length with the side PR and is again equal with in length QR so simply if I'm giving such symbol then it means that side PQ is equal with the side PR is equal with the side QR right so this kinds of symbol we generally uh, prefer for the equilateral triangle we'll be talking more about the angles of the equilateral triangle once we finish the classification uh, on the basis of angle uh, let me inform you also here if it's a equilateral triangle since three sides are equal my dear friends this is a very good thing to remember 
all the angles will be also equal right all the angles angle Q angle P angle R all the angles will be equal if the all sides are equal all the angles will be also equal and to inform you more all the angles of equilateral triangles are 60 degree all the internal angles of the triangle of a equilateral triangle are 60 60 and 60 and all the sides are equal it may be like uh, I'm giving simple measurement it may be like 5 centimeter in length right PQ may be 5 centimeter length and PR will be also in 5 centimeter in length and QR will be also in 5 centimeter length I'm just giving an example like uh, uh, it, it is 5 centimeter it may be any uh, any it may be the any distance it may be the any uh, measurement it may have it may have 2 centimeter 5 centimeter or 1 centimeter I don't know but I just want to say that all the sides will be equal and the all angles will be 60 60 60 degree that is known as the equilateral triangle alright so now let's talk about the another types of the triangle that is isosceles triangle how is isosceles triangle let me write it here isosceles triangle now isosceles triangle are such a triangle in which two sides are equal let me give you example then it will clarify you more better right because examples makes more understanding in maths okay suppose I have a triangle a B C then in triangle ABC if two sides are equal if these two sides are equal means side AB and side AC both have the same measurement let me suppose this is suppose 8 centimeter in length side 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 AC is 8 centimeter in length and if side AB is also 8 centimeter in length then we can say that this is an isosceles triangle so triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle since this triangle have two sides equal AB sides and AC sides are equal here AB side and AC sides are equal and again let me tell you if two sides are equal the two angle must be equal right if two sides are equal two angle must be equal here see the same representation or same denotion I'm giving same symbol I'm giving for the angle B and same symbol I'm giving double cutting right for the angle C it means again angle B and angle C are equal whenever you give the similar kind of symbol in the two angles or more than two angles then you need to represent that all the angles are identical or the angles are same all the angles have the same value and if I'm giving the same uh, representation to the sides then you need to you need to uh, uh, you need to know yourself that those sides are equal if I'm giving you a three cuts also then uh, then again I have to give you a three cuts I can't give you a five cut and I can't give you a, like three cuts or four cuts it means both should have the three cuts then yeah, both should have the same cuts if there are eight cuts in this side a a b like one two three uh, I can give any like four then here should be also four it means that a b and a c are equal in length I don't know what is exactly the length but I can say that both have the same length so if in a in a triangle two sides are equal and two angles are equal then we can say that that's a isosceles triangle if two sides are equal two angle will be equal and if two angles are equal then the two sides will be also equal so simply from here we'll understand those triangle which has two sides equal are known as isosceles triangle okay let me draw one more figure here if you see let me give the name PQR so in my here in, in, in this screen you can see the triangle PQR and in this triangle PQR if you see the two sides equal again right that is PQ and QR if both of them have the same length uh, let me suppose now this is suppose 10 centimeter in length and this is also 10 centimeter in length then this is called isosceles triangle and of course the opposite angle that is angle P and the opposite angle of this uh, PQ side angle R both will be equal again because I told you if the two sides are equal then their corresponding or uh, opposite angles will be also equal so here QR is facing towards the P and PQ is facing towards the R so that's why angle P and angle R both should be equal right so here we can say angle P is equal with angle R and ang uh, and the side PQ is equal with the side QR right this side and this side both are equal that's why this is an isosceles triangle now the third type of the uh, triangle that's our scalene triangle on the ba based on what based on the side so no, now let's discuss about the scalene triangle this is you know really very poor guy <laughs> why I'm saying poor because uh, you know such a triangle which do not have any any kinds of you can say uh, equal shape and size right all equal sides it doesn't have any equal sides okay uh, 
poor guy with the yellow color okay see here suppose I have a triangle uh, a B C I'm just giving the name right so in this triangle a B C if you look uh, this side I'm giving single cut here I'm giving double cut and here I'm giving three cuts so here what does it mean that length of AB is not equal to the length of the BC and again length of the AC is not equal with this both AB and BC I mean to say uh, suppose if we have the measurement of the AB like a two centimeter and measurement of BC you can say suppose four centimeter and measurement of AC is, let's suppose it's five centimeter let's suppose I'm just supposing all right uh, you can you can you can uh, choose any one if you want then you can say suppose this is three centimeter this is four centimeter and this is five centimeter so here what you're looking that length of the AB is not equal with the length of the BC and again it's not equal with the length of the AC so what you can say that neither AB AB is not equal with the BC and BC is again not equal with the AC so AB is not equal with the AC also AB is not equal with the BC also means mutually these all these all triangles are not equal with each other right they don't have the same uh, same uh, same length of any 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 sides so all the edges or all the sides have their own value different different value since the sides have the different value so what we can conclude from here that their opposite angles uh, their corresponding angles the angle a and now b uh, now see this ac is corresponding towards the angle b and a B is corresponding towards the facing towards the you can say facing towards the angle C so here angle A neither angle A is equal with the angle B nor angle B is equal with the angle C so neither angles are equal nor sides are equal so everything is different in different to each other so such a triangle is called scalene triangle I hope you understand this how is the scalene triangle uh, let me draw with the free hands that uh, you, you can get more concept how how is the scalene triangle okay let me do one more and the final one then we'll be jumping for the uh, other type okay this is uh, one side let me suppose and this is another side and this is another side let me suppose this is 13 this is you can see 12 and this is you can see 4 4 centimeter 13 centimeter and 12 centimeter so see here, all the sides are different this is different this is different this is different so this is an escalene triangle if you draw one more like here mm, here only something like this okay let me produce a little bit more bigger somehow like this here this has uh, this this side has its own value let me suppose this is 18 meter and let me suppose this is uh, 12 meter okay and let me suppose this is mm, 4 meter uh, not 4 uh, 8 meter let's suppose 8 meter okay because the sum of the two sides must be greater than the third side uh, that we'll be learning later the properties of triangle so here all the sides are different right so that's why I can say this is an scalene triangle you know this is also a very good example of a scalene triangle if you see this side this side and this side are different means simply you understand those figure which do not have the equal sides means none of the sides are equal to each other then we can say that's a scalene triangle right I hope you understand how we classify the triangle on the on the on the basis of the sides right and our next term is how to classify the triangle based on the angle so next video is about the classification of the triangle based on the angle okay we'll be meeting the next video bye bye